If your Nintendo Switch's Joy-Cons are drifting, then this one will solve your problem. So this is the Gully Kit Hole Sensing Joysticks for the Joy-Cons, and this one is obviously sent to me by Gully Kit themselves. And if I can get a focus here, this is all of the marketing stuff that they are claiming. So essentially, Hole Effect Joysticks work differently compared to the conventional joysticks. Now, these two joysticks, I have also changed them before to the Gully Kit Joysticks. Uh, we did a video of these two joysticks like uh, about a year ago. So in that kit, they included joysticks alongside with some tools to help you to open up the Joy-Cons to you know, swap out the joysticks. But this time, I think they only have the joysticks inside. So let's open it up and see what's inside. And indeed, you only have the joysticks themselves. So let's take a good look at them. So overall, the joysticks, they do look the same. They have the Gully Kit branding right there, which is actually, you know, it looks very nice. They just hide it there. And uh, we just leave this aside. And now it's time for me to show you that my joysticks, even though I have changed to the Gully Kit one not too long ago, they still work fine. Um, scroll all the way down to... Okay, so you can see, right joystick works just fine. There's no drifting at all. Even the dead zone is real good. If I slightly move the joystick, you can see nothing is registered, which is a good sign. So there's no drifting. Same goes to this joystick as well. So as you can see here, slight movement. There's no drifting or whatsoever. So that's again, real good. So now it's time for us to disassemble the Joy-Cons here and then swap to the new Hall Effect joysticks. So let's do that now. Okay, so essentially what you need to disassemble the Joy-Cons are actually these three things. You're going to need a tri-wing screwdriver bit and also a Phillips screwdriver bit. Not too sure about the size and also a tweezer to help you with all of the tiny electronics and ribbon cables and whatnot. So this will not be a installation tutorial, but I'll just skip ahead to the point that I have disassembled everything. And then we also do some comparison between the movement of the joysticks of the Gully Kit non Hall Effect Sensor joysticks and also the new Hall Effect Sensor joysticks. So let's just do that. So a bit of clarification, this was the joystick that was installed on the Joy-Con just now. I just have this uh, thumbstick cover that I have installed and was using it because, you know, it improves the grip and whatnot. And now it is time to switch to this black one, which is the Hall Effect joystick. So now the left joystick is done and we should head into the settings menu to try it out once again to see if it works. So I have not screwed it in actually so you can see the tri-wing screws are still there. So it's always best to try it out first. Oh wow it instantly worked. Okay so that's good. Yeah it's definitely a lot more stiffer than the white colored Joy-Con sticks that I've been using from Gully Kit previously. This is the one. So yeah, I'm not sure if it's because of wear and tear because I've been using this for like a year or so, but this one just feels a lot more stiffer. So now let's proceed with the installation to the right Joy-Con, which is a lot more complicated than the left Joy-Con. So let's begin. Oh, I should screw in first. Okay, so now with the right Joy-Con done, so there we go. So that's the whole installation process of the Hall Sensing Joystick for the Joy-Con. So after using this Hall Sensing Joystick for the Joy-Cons from Gully Kit, 
I can conclude that this joystick is definitely a bit softer than what they had previously. This was the replacement joysticks from them. They were not Hall Effect, but they were also made by Gully Kid. And uh, I don't think this is available for sale anymore. So yeah, Gully Kid is indeed going to push this Hall Sensing joystick to the market. And I will leave you links on where to buy them in the description below. But you do have to take note that you will need the proper tools to dismantle your Joy-Cons so that you can switch the joysticks yourself. But uh, um, yeah, you, you're gonna need a proper set like this one. This one I got from Taiwan like about 5-6 years ago. You're gonna need a tri-wing screwdriver which is uh, tri-wing, where's the tri-wing? This one. Tri-wing 2.0 and then the Philips 2.0 screwdrivers. Um, yeah, you're gonna need those two. And also the whole swapping of the joysticks process. The reason why that I can rip through it so fast is because I have opened up these two Joy-Cons many times before and I'm very familiar with the insides. And uh, if you're gonna do this on your own though, I think that you're gonna need a bit more patience. Let's just put it that way. So yeah, that's it. That's the entire swapping process. And so far, so good. I really like this joystick. They are definitely a bit softer, so I will have to get used to it. As in, it's not that stiff compared to this one. So yeah, I will still keep these joysticks in case anything happens to the Hall Effect sensors. Uh, I'll leave you some updates down in the description or the pinned comment as well, if there's any. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. This is a fantastic joystick. It's literally just plug and play and I don't really have to do any calibration or whatnot. Maybe I should do a calibration, but eh, so far so good. So yeah, do leave your questions down in the comment section below if you have any, and we'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, have fun playing Tears of the Kingdom when it comes out. So that's the reason why we're getting new joysticks, right? To prevent joystick drift when we're playing a new exciting game. Whoop, out of fuel. Bye.